So it's finally here. The final chapter in the Halo series. Does it suck? Do you care? Either way, you're going to do your best to contribute to Bill Gates' money and fork over the cash. But what if you only had enough money to get just one game and you don't care about Master Chief? First line player, move up! These are the games that are getting us most excited besides Halo 3. And with apologies to Metal Gear Solid, which hasn't announced a release date yet, and Assassin's Creed, which we just haven't seen enough to know whether or not we like or not, this is Stuttering Craig. And Handsome Tom. For Screw Attacks, top 10 games to buy besides Halo 3. Number 10. What better way to start off a countdown than with Nintendo's chubby ass mascot? Anytime you have a Mario title, gamers ears generally perk. But this is the first title on the hottest console in the market, and those crazy ass controls actually handle okay. I mean, Twilight Princess was pretty awesome. But the thing that got our pants going most crazy is what Reggie said at E3 this past year. In one sense, this is the first worthy successor to Super Mario 64. Did the president of Nintendo just say the GameCube Mario sucked? What? If there's one thing that Screw Attack loves, it's some Street Fighter. The countless hours and quarters we threw down in those damn Street Fighter arcade games shaped us into who we are. All 47 versions. Well, here comes another one, but this one's going to be a lot prettier. Redoing 100% of the art and putting it in beautiful HD is going to be an incredible step for SSF2 THDR. Number 8. Beating some ass 10 years ago when it was released on the 64, the Turok games were incredible for their time, and then they went and effed everything up with Evolution. But we're going to give the series one more chance. God is the Indian, and In is a special forces commando who just happens to have the last name Turok. It's funny how that works out, huh? Despite having the most incredible weapons known to man at his disposal, the Turok series continues to ask, why do you need a crazy ass gun when you have a bow and arrow? Number seven. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I would buy a PSP just for this game. Dracula X Chronicles not only revives two of the best games in the Castlevania series, Dracula X and Symphony of the Night, but also introduces us silly Americans to a game that has never seen our fair soil, Rondo of Blood. Throw in some redone 2.5D graphics, and you've got a winner. Ching ching Congratulations, PSP. You can now count the number of decent games on your console on two hands. Number 6. The only PC game we're totally stoked about is Crisis, because we want to see how good it's going to look. Winning best PC game of E3, you might as well have a supercomputer if you want to play this thing. The ultimate test to see how big of a graphics whore you really are, the graphics card alone cost 500 bucks. I know I want to play this game when it comes out, I just don't know if I can afford a brand new computer to play it on. If this is your first go around in the realm of PC gaming, you might want to think about starting on something a little less demanding on your rinky dink PC, like Commander Keen. Number five. If you look through the history of video games, you will notice that The Simpsons have never been blessed with good, or even decent, games. After finally realizing there's a franchise out there they can make money off of that they don't already own, EA has stepped in to try their best at making the most popular animated family in history a video game success. Could this be the best Simpsons game ever? It better be, damn it. Number four. You'll have to wait a little longer than the holiday season for this one, but it should be well worth it. Because it comes with a wheel? No. Because it's Mario Kart, and it's one of the best racing franchises out there. Real-time racing against other gamers across the world? Holy shit! We also think that more racers means more fun. How many more? Well, stay tuned. <laughs> yes, more racers is more fun, isn't it, Reggie? Let's just hope the character selection screen doesn't start looking like the latest adaptation of Mortal Kombat. Number three. Lance and Bill have been through some tough times in the past decade or so. Our favorite blue and red spandex wearing soldiers haven't had a real solid Contra game since Contra 3 on the Super Nintendo, and Konami knows that. So they're taking all the crap they put out between then and now and saying, will you guys just kind of forget about that? And finally releasing a worthy sequel to the Contra series the way it should be done. And the best part? You'll be able to play whenever you want. After playing it at E3 this year, we were hooked. Number two. 
There is no doubt that Nintendo has done an incredible job developing its franchises. And now they've made a franchise out of beating the crap out of their franchises. Genius. The anticipation is huge for Brawl, as for the first time the Wii Online capabilities will actually be put to good use. All the favorites are back, but with new additions, like Pit, Wario, Snake, and Ike? Who the hell is Ike? There's still plenty of time before the game's released, and who knows what other characters will be announced. In case you skipped ahead in the video, let's recap! Number 10, you are Mr. Gay. Number 9, Super Street Fighter 2 Hyper D... whatever. Number 8, Turok. Number 7, Castlevania. Number 6, Crisis. Number 5, The Simpsons. Number 4, Mario Kart. Number 3, Contra 4. Number 2, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I can't wait! It's number one. In the crazy world of FPSs, there have been World War II after World War II after World War II rehashes just slop down in front of you and developers say, Hey, you're going to play this and you're going to like it. But what's this? Something different? By far one of the biggest threats to Halo 3 as Game of the Year, Call of Duty 4 looks, sounds, and plays absolutely superb. And that's just the beta. Why is this number one? Heads up! Because we can't stop playing the same three levels over and over again. It's just insanely fun. And that's what games are supposed to be about, right? We called Infinity Ward's community manager Robert Bowling to see what he thought about this distinct honor. Talk to me. Robert, what's going on? It's Craig from Screw Attack. Hey, what's going on? Hey, dude, guess what? Call of Duty 4 has been named the top game to buy besides Halo 3. What do you think? Holy shit. That's right, bitches. 